Jackson for another Monday night tea with tea. Um, as I wait for a few of you to hop on and get connected, I am not having tea again tonight. I think I've had tea like what 10%, 15% of the time. Um, but tonight I'm just having some ice water here, still recovering from a really fun yoga sculpt class tonight. So, um, but if you are joining and getting logged in, let me know you're here. Send me a comment or like or love the, the live here. So I know it's not just me talking to myself. <laughs> um, the only bummer about Facebook Lives is, you know, there could be, I don't know, three, 10, a million of you. And I have no real idea. I just only see myself. So, but I'm really excited about tonight and this live because I finally am going to get to unveil for you something that I have been thinking about for quite a while and working on and brainstorming and trying to develop for you. And I'm finally ready to unveil it and roll it out and invite you to come and enjoy it with me. And it is a free five day challenge via email. And it is called, let me put this up here, the Mindset and Manifestation, five-day challenge to creating your in-home yoga space. So a lot of times over the last few years, I get into conversations with friends and clients all the time about yoga, obviously, and about their practice and whether they prefer studio classes or if they prefer home practice. And a lot of times I have students who really want a home practice, but really struggle with making it what they want and finding a space that really works for them and where they feel like they're able to enjoy their practice and benefit from their practice. And so that's why I've been working on this for a while and really trying to put together what I think would be the most useful for you when you're trying to make a space in your home. And of course I have the online membership for people who wanna practice at home. I'm currently now doing live virtual classes. So now things are shifting, right? And more of us, whether we really wanted to or not, are finding ourselves, if we're going to practice, we need to practice at home. And so I thought, now is really the time to get this finished and out to you guys so that you could benefit from it now when you are home and use this time to really think about it and work toward it. So it's five days and I'll put the link up um, later. I'll put it in the comments as well. You can see it here on this opening slide, um, bit.ly. Um, bit.ly slash yoga with TG challenge. That link will take you directly to the sign up. And when you sign up, immediately you will be given access to a downloadable workbook. And I tried to make the workbook where you could print it off if you wanted to and write in the sections, but I also wanted to make it where you didn't need to print it off. And so you can download the workbook and you can view it and use it, but you could do your writing separately somewhere else so that if you don't have a printer or you don't want to print it, you don't need to print it to be able to benefit from the workbook. So when you sign up, immediately you're given the download of the workbook. So you can see kind of the whole overall plan, the whole five days. Then the next day you'll get early in the morning, they will always come early in the morning, the five day emails, um, you'll get your email. And so each day we're going to tackle a mindset block that I hear the most. So I tried to tackle the biggest obstacles, the biggest concerns that I hear the most. The first day 
we're going to do a couple of things. The first day is going to be really dealing with the right space and thinking big picture here. So we're going to start kind of big and then get more and more specific as the five days go on. Additionally, in the first day's email, there is a meditation for you that I recorded. It's about a 13 minute meditation that I hope you'll use each day of the challenge. And each day in the video that I've recorded and, and linked in your email, I'll talk about how you could use the meditation for that day's theme, for that day's focus, so that it's not, it's the same meditation, but it's not the same meditation each day. And so you have kind of a different way to approach the meditation each day. So the first day we're gonna um, think big picture, the right space, where and what are the big goals that I have for this space and how can I approach that? Then we will get to day two and we'll talk about the, the thought that practicing at home is just not the same as practicing in a studio and talking about that it's not and acknowledging that and then what do we do with that? And where do we go with that? So day two, we will deal with that mindset issue that it's just not the same. Day three, a little bit from what the space looks like, where it'll be, the details of the space. And we're gonna move into talking about the schedule, logistics, those types of things. Our furry family members, our small family members, our needy family members, whatever, right? We're going to talk all about the logistics of finding time to get into our space and how that might look. Then on day four, the theme is going to really be around accountability. So if we go to the trouble of creating and manifesting this space and we have this plan to use it, how are we going to make sure we really actually do? And how can we set ourselves up for success in that way? And then the last day, we'll be talking about what resources are there that are free or that are a small investment where I can get the most out of my space and not feel like I'm going to this space and it's a great space, but I just don't have what I need in the space to make it beneficial for me in the way that I want it to be. So those are a preview of the five things that we talk about in this challenge. And I'll put up here on the screen for you, again, that website that you can go to bit.ly slash yoga with TG challenge. It's completely free. Uh, you sign up and away you go. And I really hope that it's something that you benefit from in this time where we're spending more time at home. And a lot of our studios or places we go to really meet our needs, right? Socially, uh, exercise, all of those things we're now having to move to within our home. And so trying to help you come up with a path and a way to make a space for yourself and really do it in a way that's going to be hopefully the most beneficial that it can be. And that you'll be able to practice in your home in a really fulfilling uh, way. So I really hope that you will join and that you'll let me know along the way throughout the days um, what you're thinking and what you've done and where your space is. I love to see pictures of people's spaces. If you already have a space, I would love to see it. You can throw a picture in the comments. Maybe it will help somebody who's uh, currently working on getting a space together, right? So um, I just love sharing in that way. And the more yoga we can do, the more yoga we can share, the more yoga we can spread everywhere. <laughs> I think, especially in these times, all the better we will be. So 
I'm so excited that it's done and that I can share it with you and tell you all about it. I, no lie, really kind of wanted to have it done by last week. And I just, I don't know, I just didn't get it done. But it's done now and I get to tell you about it. And so I'm so excited to open the doors, let you in. And I really hope that you find benefit and um, and that you get to yoga at home and meet yourself on your mat. So have a great night. Get signed up. Tell all your friends. Get all of them on board. You can all be working through the five-day challenge all together. And I hope it is great. So let me know what you think. And otherwise, I'll see you in the challenge. Have a great night. And I'll see you next week as well.